brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, brother wisdom, what's going on, guys? All right, um, that uh, posting that um, uh, we posted um, about the earthquake in California. All right. It's kind of crazy that probably about four months ago, I was at work and I was um, on high low. And right there in the astral realm, in the astral realm, I heard that. And that's that, that's that uh, sound that is on an earthquake tracker to let you know that a major earthquake has happened. And it said California, in the, in the ashram it said California, and it said 10.3. And it's kind of crazy, you know, and I never really said anything to anybody because I was like, you know, I don't want anybody to say anything because, you know, it's like people want to be expecting something to happen. And their uh, brother Morpheus, uh, Morpheus Neo, uh, one of my Facebook friends, he posts this thing and he Google, he put it on Google, the Great Earthquake of 2022, which means that, like they said, CERN, they're doing, they're, they're time traveling, okay? They're using CERN to time travel. And when you say the merging the timelines, you got to enter understand, overstand, you know, somebody said upper stand, yeah, upper stand, that because of the timelines being merged, they're able to link into the astral realms and see things that brothers and sisters cannot see, all right, and this is, uh, this is not good, brothers and sisters, this is not a good thing at all. Because we're the ones supposed to be seeing. We're the ones supposed to be telling what's going to happen. Not our enemies. They're not supposed to be telling what's going to happen. But because so many of us have made a decision to want to be a part of this system or not want to raise our consciousness, basically what's happening is, you know, we've been, um, you know, just whatever, you know. But it was about four months ago it was about four months ago maybe five months ago and the thing about it is in the astral realm I called my wife like right away because our son lives in uh, California and I called my wife right, right away and was like call uh, I was like call Dre call Dre call Dre right now I said please call him right now and she and and she, and she said why? I said because that was just a ten point three in California. And then after the ten point three, and that you know I, I I get a lot of these things when I'm driving in the high low. After the ten point three, it was like a a, 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 a nine point eight, and then a nine point five, and then it went down to a, a eight point eight. And then it went down to 8.2, and then it was like a 7.3, and these are all aftershocks. All right, these are all aftershocks. These are these are not the the, the regular earthquake. They're they were all aftershocks. So it was so I was I'm like I'm like oh my goodness, and um, it's like every aftershock you heard, and it was like uh, I'm sitting in the I'm standing in a frenzy. And one of my supervisors was like, what's going on? And I, and I told my supervisor, I was like, hey, that was 10.3 that just happened in California. And then in the astral realm that what I saw as, as I was, was I was in the astral realm, where we were began shaking a little bit because the, um, the energy was so extremely heavy that we felt the shakes as well. So, I want to explain earthquakes, all right? I want to explain earthquakes. So this is what happened. And, you know, when we felt the shakes, it was like it was big enough to shake those um, racks 
and shit started falling on the, on the floor. And for the longest I had been talking to uh, people in management at my job, I had been telling them, I said, hey, you know, can we have some earthquake training? And they was like, you know, they have, I mean, they, they literally have to pay the state to do uh, a fire alarm training. They were doing all kind of other alarms, but they have to pay the state. I mean, that's 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 how it goes. Even for uh, a, a road to be fixed, a city has to pay the state of Michigan, all right, a percentage of money in order for the road to be fixed. I mean, and this is supposed to be long. This is supposed to be long to the state, but that's how you know Michigan is an, is um um uh, that type of state. All right. You know, it's a it's a it's a no fault state. What it is, it's a no fault state. So basically, you know, anything goes. So um, that's what I had about four, maybe five months ago, and there was a ten point three that happened in California in the in the Astrum. Like I said, I really didn't want to say anything because you know I didn't want people to be saying, hey, you know, you know, brother Remedy said this, brother Wisdom said this right here, and it never happened. And you know, I already got enough brothers and sisters who. You know, judge me and criticize me and scrutinize everything that I say. So I, you know, I was, I was just like, I'm not gonna say nothing at all. But then I just posted what you know Neo Morpheus had had posted. And I was like, that's what I saw in Astro. All right. Now, for earthquake to happen in one place, let's just say it happened in California. Let's just say it's 10.3. You know, and, you know they are crossing the timelines, which means they did some time traveling. Or either that AI system tapped into something, and because you got to remember the internet, the internal networking system, that AI system can link in, can has that ability to link into the future because it is the um, internet. All right, it is it is the internet. It is um, uh, linked into that internal networking system. All right, so. What we uh, what we looking at is um, excuse me, is um, you have an earthquake, which is a really a, you know a colossal plasma energy discharge. All right, and we talked about this before. We talked about how these scientists have never seen tectonic plates. Everything that they really much pretty much talk about is theory. All right, they theorize and say, "Hey, you know, this is this is you know tectonic plates," and they've gone on and on, and they but they've never seen a tectonic plate ever, ever have they seen a tectonic plate? All right, and they got brothers and sisters talking about, well, you know, that was a shifting of the tectonic plate, and then they had a, 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 a picture of what they thought would happen when one plate goes over another plate and is rubbing, and they say, "Is the plate rubs?" This is how the earthquake happened. No, 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 no. Remember, our planet is 99.9999999% plasma, okay? Our planet is a, is a fully plasma planet, all right? And remember, we talked about entropy, all right? When our planet spins faster, the frequencies rise, and because the frequencies rise, what, what controls the plasma is the frequencies, all right? Because this is a celestial body, all right? Our planet is a celestial body. And the frequencies um, began rising, and as the frequencies rise, it affects the plasma because now the plasma is rising with the frequencies. They're not even talking about the the, the true frequencies that our planet is giving off at this present moment. They don't want, because they're scared. All right, they're literally scared. So um, as the plasma. I mean, as the frequencies get stronger and stronger, what happens is the plasma begins to get stronger as well. The plasma can only take but so much energy because the frequency is nothing but energy. The plasma can only take but so much energy. And you have these huge bolts of energy um, that's under the ground as our, as our planet is spinning. All right, these huge bolts of energy. And soon that energy will begin to get uh, unstable. And then when that energy becomes unstable, it gives off that boom. And because our planet is what? Nothing but energy, all right? 
Our planet is energy as well. And because our planet is energy as well, what happens? Well, like Mr. BBB3 uh, said, Mr. BBB33 said, he said, well, when that earthquake went off, the same energy hit Yellowstone or the same energy hit this because our planet is energy, all right? Our planet is energy. And, I, and this, these energy points are, are, are new ley lines that our planet has created, but these inorganic beings will never know where these new ley lines are, okay? So, um, what happens is that um, that energy becomes like a lightning bolt up in the sky, all right? It becomes like a lightning bolt up in the sky. So you have the epicenter, which is the center point of where the energy is. And that energy breaks off. Let's just say this is this is California. This is the, this is the West Coast right here. And let's just say we're going closer to like the the, the mid the mid section of the of, of, of this of this land right here. And that goes that earthquake epicenter is right there. So it's going to be just like lightning bolt in the sky. Therefore, what is above is also below. And these lightning bolts, these bolts of energy, with a 10.3 earthquake, the plasma energy bolts can reach all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. All right. And they can reach all the way to the Atlantic Ocean and they will discharge once they hit a certain point and they'll boom 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 and all of us will feel that because these are huge these are giant plasma energy boats i mean these giant huge plasma energy boats i mean huge colossal plasma energy boats and they're deep underground and they literally discharge which causes which creates an explosion therefore what is above is also below so this is this is what it is. So this is why sometimes they say, well, you know, before the earthquake hit, we saw a rainbow. What do we tell you? What do we tell you guys? A rainbow is nothing but the plasma charging up the gases in the air. So you see all these gases that's charged up in that area, and then that plasma, that epicenter, of where the 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 um, the um, plasma is going to discharge. Literally, the epicenter is where the rainbow happens because that energy has churned up. That energy has gotten has gotten is extremely strong, extremely powerful, and then it boom, 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 because it's, it's it's like in line with the cosmos. It's like that energy. That energy is 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 can be seen up in the air it's it's, it, it, it's and it's growing so big so this is where we come in entropy this is going to become in thermodynamics all right remember we talk about perpetual motion our, our planet spins on an axis it spins on its own without being plugged into anything all right so because it's because it uh, uh is, is is in such a manner um what we are looking at is a powerful uh, 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 discharge of energy, and that's why when, whenever or if a 10.3 would happen in California, the entire uh, uh, island of Atlantis will it, would fill it because it will literally these will like be lightning bolts of energy that will be breaking off everywhere and like we said before this is it's like the perfect area he's got you got this dirt and mud and and moisture and all in it and and these this 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 plasma energy flows so much better underground than it does above ground so that's why you have all these earthquakes and even when you're driving down the street and you see the concrete and you see all these cracks on the ground that means it was a very small earthquakes but they didn't register but they did they 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 uh uh, uh there was a discharge that caused the ground to 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 uh crack open it was big enough to cause the ground to crack open so just because you don't feel like a three point something or whatever a one point or two point might have happened all right so this is what um 
uh, earthquakes are all about. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. All right. I just wanted to share that with y'all because um, it's like um, we have to gain the knowledge of science and the scientific approach dealing with certain um, types of information that uh, belongs to us. You know, we need this information. We need this type of knowledge so that we can grow, so that we can understand what's going on. And just like we said, we talked about entropy. We talked about um uh, we talked about entropy. We talked about uh, uh, thermodynamics, and this is this is this is the whole gist of it, brothers and sisters. This is the whole gist. So to understand um, how earthquakes happen is to understand the dynamics of our planet. Like we said before. These inorganic beings, these Saxons, these Saxons, they do not know anything about this planet. They don't know anything about this planet. Everything is a theory. Everything is a guess. They 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 cannot bond with nature to actually find out what's going on. You must bond with nature so that you know. So that you will know. That's why, like I said, Mr. BBB33 says, well, you know, the earthquake happened in New Zealand. And it was a five point something in New Zealand, but that same energy was in Oregon. It was like, how is how is that? Our planet is a sphere, and energy travels. So that same plasma energy that exploded in New Zealand, that was a deep bolt of energy that traveled all the way underwater. All right. And it made a circle and it hit Oregon. I mean, Oregon. All right. It hit Oregon or it might have hit Washington. All right. It might hit the end and it hit that area and they would have had the same earthquake. And this is how this is how it, it, it works here. You know, this this it's just we're dealing with nothing but pure energy. It's what we're dealing with. So, you know, I just wanted to share that with you all. All right. Earthquakes. Understand, understand, overstand earthquakes, the science behind earthquakes, how they act, how they operate. So, but it's, but it was just amazing that, you know, about, that was about what, four or five months ago, I had that, um, that out of body experience while I was working. And there was a 10.3 that happened in California. And I was so worried about my son and I want him to get out of California so bad, but Hey, you know, you can't make grown people do anything. You know, <laughs> can't make grown people do anything. But, you know, I just, I just, um, really, it, it, it really hit me when I saw that, um, what Morpheus Neo had, had posted. And I was like, wow, that was the same thing that I saw in the Astrium a few months ago. But I didn't know what day, I didn't know the date. Only thing I knew is that. It was a 10.3 that happened. And then from that 10.3, it was all those other after shocks. But it, it, the, 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 the earthquake chapter kept going. Because these were these were major uh, aftershocks and they were quakes and they were major aftershocks. And, and see, the thing about it is when you have that one huge explosion you're going to have several others that's going to happen after it, but they're going to be dying down. The energy is going to die down because you have an epicenter and the energy is like a huge, like a ball of energy. It's a huge plasma ball of energy and it's sending out shock waves. You send out the first big one and then it's sending out the second one and you send out the third one and it's sending it out and you send it out and it finally just dies down until it's completely, um, you know, to is com is completely removed. All right, so just want to share that with your house. Okay, I catch you guys later. You know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial and jelly beans may cast ring with you forever and ever and ever. And remember, cast brings change, not peace. Much power to you all.